monsters. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today is Brittany is going to be my model and I'm going to start by prepping her skin. I'm using the Dior Skin Flash Primer and this is just a really nice primer that's going to make her skin look dewy and more radiant. I don't know if they make this anymore but any dewy primer will do. For foundation I'm using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Foundation. And I went in with a shade that is just a little bit lighter than her actual skin tone. We were wanting to go for that nice kind of portlisslin, perfect looking skin. And I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and blending this all over the face. Then we're going to go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And since she doesn't really have dark circles, she doesn't need a whole lot. But this will just give the eyes much more of a brighter, wide awake look, if you will. So I'm just applying a little bit of that under the eyes and of course blending. Then I'm going to take my Cover Effects Cream Foundation, and this is in P10, and I'm actually going to be highlighting with this, and we're going to be doing some major highlighting. So what I did is I referenced a picture of Lady Gaga, and as you can see, I just had it on my phone, and what I did is anything that features that you want to bring out, you're going to highlight. Anything you want to take away, you're going to end up contour, but we're starting with highlight here. And so it's kind of hard to explain any special details, just like we wanted to make the cheekbones look really prominent. So I really highlighted on top of the cheekbones underneath the eyes. Also Lady Gaga's chin's a little bit more prominent, so that's why I got more highlight just chilling out on her chin there. And also between the eyes on the upper part, bridge of the nose, um, her it's a little bit wider there, so that's why we highlighted a bit more than on the bottom of the nose. So just little things like that, just maybe to get you an idea on how to highlight. I also did highlight underneath where we're going to contour because that's really going to make that contour seem more in depth and more prominent. And I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and we're going to blend that in. Damp beauty blenders tend to blend in cream products really well versus like trying to blend it in with your fingers. It tends to make it look a little bit more natural. Actually not a little bit, a lot more natural. And so I'm just going to go in there and really blend it in and work it into the skin. Now to set the highlight, I'm going to be using the NYX contour, no, highlighting contour pro palette and also the Benai Luxury Powder in Cameo. So I'm mixing the light color in the NYX palette and Cameo and what I'm going to do is apply that with the Beauty Blender everywhere that we highlighted and I'm going to let it sit on there. So I'm putting quite a bit on, I'm just going to let that kind of bake and cook and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to take MAC Studio Fix and this is the color NW25 and I'm going to take that and set everywhere else that we did not highlight. So we want to set that foundation again. I am not putting it where we had the highlight. We're going to let that cameo powder and also the NYX let that do its job. All right, now I'm going back in with my NYX contour palette. I'm going to take the contour shade, that one medium kind of one. Now we're going to contour her cheekbones. And since Lady Gaga's look is really contoured, I really went in there and chiseled out those cheekbones. I went in rather sharp. I am going to go back in and blend it out. Right now I'm just more worried about placing it in the correct place, and then later on we'll blend it. Also, her forehead is contoured quite a bit. Lady Gaga's forehead is a bit more wider than Britney's, so I didn't contour quite as much there. But if you have a broader forehead, feel free to really get on that bronzer and contour color. And you can see I just took my brush here and I start blending it for cheekbones. You definitely want to blend your contour up because that way you get the lifted cheekbone looks. If you blend down, sometimes you could get that five o'clock shadow. So make sure when you're blending those cheekbones, blend them up because you want that lifted sculpture look. And then obviously along the hairline, you want to blend back into the hairline, not down. And around the jawline, that's where you can blend down. So as through the whole entire thing, I am referencing a picture just to make sure that I am staying up to par with the face shape. All right, for the nose. 
Lady Gaga has a little bit more of an upturned nose, so I did contour the bottom to give a little bit more of a look of the upturn. She's also a little bit thinner on the bottom, but wider on the top, so I just contoured the bottom. I didn't put any contour up on the top. And like I said, depending on your nose shape, just reference a picture and see what you need to take away or add. So I'm just creating more of a shadow underneath the chin, or not the chin, the news. And then I did also put a little bit underneath the lip to make the bottom look appear more fuller. So for here on the brows, all I did is took that Cover FX foundation that we use for highlighting, put that over the brows, and I set it with the Ben Nye Cameo Powder just to set it and lighten it. Now for prepping the eyes, I'm going to go in with Max Paint Pot, and this is in Painterly, and this is just kind of a nice pinky warm primer can't talk anymore but we're gonna prime those lids so I'm gonna be using two palettes here I'm gonna be using the Too Faced natural eye palette and also the Kat Von D shade and light palette so I'm gonna start in with a one color that's really nice and warm has a little bit of orange this is kind of mapping everything out and I'm going in the crease a little bit higher there's not a lot of space between the crease and eyebrows so don't be worried about getting that high this is mapping them out got to go in with the same palette now I'm going to go in with that more taupey, warm, nice warm taupe brown, if that makes sense. And I'm going to almost do a cut crease, not quite, just think of it as a cut crease almost. And I am also going to make it a little bit darker towards that inner corner of the eye, blending up into the eyebrow. And then at the ends, I'm just going to kind of take it and flick it up a little bit. And I'm going to apply some product and then blend it out and where I need some more, apply some more. That made any sense. So pretty much we're going to draw lines and blend them out. Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Natural at Night Eye Palette. I'm just going with that really nice warm brown. And then I'm going in with this taupey brown from the Natural Matte Palette. And I'm going to mix those two together. I didn't have a shade that I felt like was super close. So I had to mix two colors. So don't ever be afraid to do that. It looks like she used a matte. And I'll be getting on how we got the glossy look later on. That's one of the last things we did. But we just want to keep the browns nice and warm. So I'm going to apply that all over the lid underneath the crease that we created. Then taking this nice warm yellowish color. This is actually called Day in the palette. And I'm going in the inner colors and blending it over in the inner half of the eye. Then I'm going with the white. And this is Sugar Pills Taco. Also applying that in the inner corners just to really brighten it and blending it towards that center of the eye. Now I didn't feel like the line was defined enough, so this is actually an eyebrow pencil from Lancome, and this is in the color Brown Expert. No, I'm sorry, this is just the color brown, and I just did a fine line just to give it more definition. Now for the wing, I used shadow, and I went back in with the Kat Von D palette, and I went with a nice warm dark brown. Just took a liner brush and just winged it and blended it out. It is a little bit more rounded on the bottom, so don't forget to not get too straight. Like I said, reference a picture. Also took a little bit of it and went down the quarter of the eye on the bottom and blended it out. And when coming towards the eye, you don't want a sharp line. I just nicely faded it and I just took a brown eyebrow pencil and got really close to the lash line. That way there was no um, spaces between having the eyeshadow and the eyelashes. So for the inner waterline, I am going to line with Smashbox Nude Pencil, and just any nude will do, and just line those inner waterlines to make them look big and bright. Now, she didn't really have mascara on. I'm actually taking an Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an eyebrow gel, and this is in Brunette. Any brown or light brown gel for eyebrows will actually do. You just don't want to go too heavy with the eyelashes. So she does also have a beauty mark, don't forget that. I just took my Kat Von D and drew on a little teeny little beauty mark. And then we're going to take Hula from Benefit and we're just going to lightly go over the contour just to really make it pop, like especially that forehead and the cheekbones. So now we're going to go in with the lip. This is the Sephora Collection Liquid Lip Stain and this is in number one. And this is just a really good true red and I'm just going to draw our natural line except on the top 
Lady Gaga's lips are a little bit fuller, so I just added a little bit more. Use at your own discretion. And then for lip liner, because they're a little bit darker, I use Culprit by MAC. It looks scary. I just line the outside. And then I took MAC's lipstick and Sen, and I blended it in to create this ombre. So pretty much you want to create this wine outside into a deep, really nice true red in the inner part of the lip. All right, now to get those lids nice and glossy, I just used a lip gloss because that's what I had and it works. Just any clear gloss would do as long as it doesn't have glitter in it. So I wanted to do this last because this is not a long wearing or long lasting thing. It will eventually kind of smudge the eyelashes. So do apply that last if you can. So for this blood, I just picked up some spray blood from the Halloween store. And what I did is I would put on a coat, let it dry, put some more on and let it dry. Also make it kind of drip and to make it look like fresh puncture kind of wounds till I created the coverage and texture that I wanted to do. All right, then we put on a blonde wig and that completes our Lady Gaga from American Horror Story. I hope you enjoyed. We had a ton of fun creating this look. Don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and to subscribe to see all my coming looks and tutorials and all that fun stuff. And then for the blood drip, she just literally used a blood capsule. They don't taste very good. They taste terrible, but that's how we got that dripping blood. And to get the look that she just ate somebody, we smeared a bunch of blood and lipstick. So as far as that goes, have fun with that. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!